Hello students, Sairam. Today we are going to continue our previous chapter, Input Output Devices. Before we start, just have an overlook of previous chapter. We learn computer system, input process, output and hardware and software. Okay, now we are going to start input devices. What is input devices? The devices through which we enter data and instruction are called input devices. Some of the input devices are given, given in following slide. Our first input device is keyboard. Now what is keyboard? A keyboard is used to type data and instruction into the computer. The commonly used keyboard has 104 keys which can be divided into many groups based on their function. In this keyboard, there, there are main five keys. What is, which are these keys? See, this is a number key. This is, this is called functions key. Here is a typing keys. This is called navigation key and this is a numeric keypad. This is called a keyboard. The second input device is mouse. A mouse is a small pointing device which with two or three buttons two or three buttons on its top. As we move, as we move, the mouse pointer also move in the same direction. It is used to point, select and then open file or folder on the screen. It is also used to draw picture. This is called the mouse. The third input device is scanner. It is a device that read text or picture printed on a paper and translate the information into a form that a computer can use. The most commonly used scanner is in the flat band scanner which has a flat tray with a glance plane and a covering lid. This is called a scanner. The fourth input device is light pen. A light pen is a pen like pointing device. It is used to select object on display screen. It is quite similar to mouse except that it allows you to point to the object display on the screen or draw directly on it. Light pen is only used with CRT monitors. It is mainly used by engineers, fashion, designer and architects. This is called a light pen. Fourth one is web camera. A web camera is device connected to the computer for capturing still image and live videos. It is primarily used for video telephony, telephony on the internet. This is called a web camera. Next is a microphone. A microphone is an input device which is used to record voice and music and sound into the computer system. The sound, recorder, the sound cards enable the computer to record sound input from microphone connect to the computer. Apart from recording sound in a computer, a microphone is used in many application, applications such as telephones, tape recorders, karaoke system, hearing ads, etc. This is called a microphone. Now the last input device is touchpad. Touchpad is used 
instead of mouse on the laptop computers it is touch sensitive 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 pad you can control the movement of the pointer on a screen by moving the finger on touch pad this is called a touch pad now we discuss about output devices output devices are used to display the data that we input into a computer and the result which we get after processing this device are used to show output or the result of the process some of the output devices are as follows monitor speaker and printer the first one is monitor the most common device is the monitor it is similar to television the output that we get on monitor is called a soft copy there are two types of monitor crt monitor and lct monitor crt monitor however are generally less expensive and consume more electricity and lct monitor have the advantage of being much thinner lighter and consuming less electricity monitor display all the information and work which is done inside the computer second output dev device is speaker it is used to listen music and sound effect from our computer nowadays we have speakers which are installed within the desktop and desktop monitor and laptop also now third one and the last is printer it is an important parts of computer system it print the output on a paper the printed copy is called the hardware hard copy the most commonly used printer are dot matrix inkjet and laser printer now what is dot matrix printer the dot matrix printer work like a typewriter and create impression on the paper it is very noisy but less expensive it is commonly used in schools and offices it print in black colors second printer is inkjet printer inkjet printer spray droplets on ink on a paper to form text and graphics it is ideal for routine business works and personal document documents it can print in a black as well as produce color output it produce it it produce high quality prints now third one is laser print laser printer uses laser bring to print it is mostly used in public houses it is very fast and give high quality output it work like a photo it it like uh, work like a photocopier so this is called output devices so student this is called input and output devices i hope all of you have understood in the next chapter we are going to start according to your book syllabus okay that's for all today thank you sairam